Um, it was time for change. You know, just like uh, five years ago when I knocked off the second longest serving mayor of Attleboro, it was a similar situation. It was time for change. People were ready. And that's why five years ago I committed to doing no more than um, no more than three terms. I said I was going to do two, maybe three terms, and now I'm in my third and final term, but that's why with Sheriff, I've also committed to doing no more than two terms because it's a six-year term. I don't want to overstay my welcome. A lot of people have asked me, have, has he called to concede? And the answer is no, but I don't think that's any different than any of the other nine uh, competitive races I've had. I've, this is the 10th time I've been on the ballot uh, where I've been opposed to somebody else, uh, you know, or told it 10 times, and out of all those 10, you know, including last night, nobody has ever called. Well, first thing I have to do is establish the standards with the staff, you know, what my expectations are. And they really should go without being said. You know, the first most important thing is honesty. Um, you know, I said this to my, you know, current staff of uh, employees five years ago uh, when I took over as mayor, but it was first we have to be honest with each other, you know, because if we're not honest with each other, we're worthless. Then it's go basically working towards implementing the things that I campaigned on, uh, making sure we measure recidivism, measure our program's effect on recidivism, uh, really doing discharge planning, looking at you know, housing, health care, and a job, working with outside organizations, um, looking at the correctional officers and you know, their work conditions as well, uh, making sure they have the proper training or adequate training or enough training, so a lot of things.